In part two of our Kelvin Maglev train inside of the inventor, we're gonna take care of the magnets and we're also gonna take care of the wooden base that it sits on. We're gonna start off with the wooden base because it's easier of the parts. It's really just an extruded rectangle and that's all it is. Uh, so we're gonna start off with our 2D sketch. I'm always gonna start on the XY plane, which is my front. And then I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool starting at the origin. It is going to be eight inches long and it's only going to be an eighth of an inch thick. So you can type in one slash eight uh, or you can put in 0.125. It means the exact same thing. Uh, and then we have just the base there ready. I'm gonna finish my sketch and I'm gonna extrude that 2.5 inches. And then I have my base pretty much ready to go. The only other thing I'm gonna do is add a material or a color to it just to get it set up. Now, depending on what version of the maglev you have, uh, it's going to look different. Uh, the ones that I have this year are kind of a more of a brown color uh, and some of them have been more of solid wood. It depends very much on what version you have uh, and what you get there. Uh, I'm just gonna go through here and pick something that is close to what we have, uh, but it might not be exact. Uh, we actually might go down to the bottom here and pick one of the woods of, uh, let's go with white ash java. Sure, that works. Uh, it's dark enough color and it looks fine for what we're doing. Uh, so I have that. Uh, I'm gonna go in and make a new file now. I'm not gonna save that quite yet. I'll go back and do that later. Uh, we're gonna talk about the magnets. Uh, the magnets, again, are pretty easy, but there's a few different ways to do this. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by making out a rectangle. It's going to be one inch long and a eighth of an inch tall. And then we're gonna extrude it 0.75. And all these measurements are taken from a ruler off of the kit. So not terribly difficult to do. Uh, I just need to take the time to do it. There is also a hole inside of all the magnets that we need to go and create. There's a couple of different ways to do it, and I'm gonna talk about those now. Uh, so first off, I'm gonna start off and make a sketch on my top view here by right-clicking and going to New Sketch. Once I have that, I need the hole. It's a quarter-inch hole. I need it to show up in the middle. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with a circle. I can draw that in there, and I can put the dimension of 0.25, and that's all well and good. But I need to get it centered up. So I'm gonna go from dimensions. I'm gonna start off from my origin, and go down to my other origin and bring it out to the side. I know that this is one inch, so half of that is 0.5 inches. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to my origin and bring it from the center and bring it up. And the whole thing is 0.75, so 0.75 divided by two, because we're only going halfway. And then I have it fully constrained. If you don't wanna do it that way, the only dimension that's really necessary for this is the 0.125. You could draw a line with construction marks, which are up here, uh, and you can go from corner to corner and then other corner to other corner and that will set up everything that you need. Uh, that's totally up to you. This is already fully dimensioned. Uh, there's no constraints necessary. So I'm ready to go and I'm gonna extrude that one. I'm gonna cut it and we're good to go. The distance really isn't important. Uh, if I really wanna go the extra mile, there is a small fillet on everything here. I'm not super worried about that right now, uh, but if I wanted to, I could add on the fillet to everything and make it really beautiful, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Last thing I wanna do is I wanna find a piece of metal or something that looks roughly the same. Uh, you're gonna to have to go through and find some stuff. Uh, generally, I find that iron cast uh, usually looks about right for the magnet itself. You can see it kind of looks like it has a pitted kind of structure, uh, and that's kind of perfect for what we need to do. Uh, so I'm gonna save the magnet. I'm gonna save our other one here of the wooden base. And then in our next video, we're gonna talk about the initial assembly of what we need to do.